Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. League 2, a couple of, uh, how do I say it, against the odd results you can say. Um, Salford winning 2-1, then Plymouth Argyle getting that late equaliser. You know, it's so many against the odd results. A few results that we were probably expecting, but... You know, I'm going to run for them um, as I do this. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game I'm going to talk about is Bradford versus Forest Green. Forest Green losing 2 1 to Port Vale away from home. And um, Bradford beating Stevenage 1 0 away from home. Both teams plan away from home two different outcomes. Um, Bradford playing Stevenage probably won't. As much as the shock, Forest Green losing 2-1 to Port Vale is more possibly against the odds than what a lot of people probably think. But for this one, I've gone for a 3-0 Bradford win. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Cambridge, or Cambridge versus Oldham Athletic. Cambridge, 3-2 winners over Scunthorpe. Oldham Athletic 0-0 over Exeter. Um, Oldham drawing at home to Exeter. Uh, I don't think that's much of a surprise on the Oldham front. I will get onto the Exeter front when I speak about their prediction for the upcoming fixture. Cambridge beating Scunthorpe 3-2 probably ain't one of the shocks of this uh, previous results just gone. But for this one, I've gone for a 4 1 Cambridge win. It's better than obviously Cambridge. Um, my next one is Carlisle versus Salford. Salford 2 2 over Plymouth, as I just said. And Carlisle loses to the Chatham Town. Let's go back to the Salford game for a minute and let me speak to it from the Salford point of view. Um, Salford 2 2 against Plymouth. Now, Salford are newly promoted to League 2. Uh, never mind the owners and the money, and you know, they're still new to the division. A few class players they've got, but still new to the division. Um, I'll, as a Salford fan, I probably would like that result. Only thing that I feel a bit gutsy about is losing that. Three points just before the end of the, obviously before the Plymouth scored, which made it two a uh, two two. Um, but as this game goes, I've gone for a Salford win, and I've gone for a three two Salford win. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Swindon Town. Cheltenham Town losing, uh, winning, beating Carlisle two 0 Sorry, um. Swindon Town losing 1 0 over Northampton. Let's go to the Cheltenham Town and speak about this result for a bit. Um, Cheltenham 2 0 winners over Carlisle. Probably not a huge surprise, but I think I did put Carlisle to at least get going in that game. I can't quite remember, but um, you know, Cheltenham 2 0. Good three points for Cheltenham, so you know. Chantland fans got to be happy with that. And as always, feel free any support any team, feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but for this game, I've gone for a 1-1 one, one, uh, scoreline. My next one is Colchester versus Northampton. Colchester 2-2 uh, two, two against Grimsby Town. Northampton Town beating Swindon 1 0. Um, Northampton Town, uh, probably one of the biggest surprises of the midweek games. Um, as I said at the top of the show, there was a few of them that, you know, went against the odds. Um, but beating Swindon Town at home, obviously, Northampton fans got to be happy with that. So, with that in mind, I've gone for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Port Vale. 
Port Vale beaten Forest Green 2-1, I've already mentioned. And Grimsby Town 2-2 over Colchester. Um, you know, Grimsby Town 2-2 over Colchester. Spoke about that a bit just a minute ago. Port Vale beating Forest Green 2-1. Um, you know, probably a bit of a surprise for some. But with that in mind, I've gone for a 2-1 Port Vale win. My next one is Lake Norian versus Crawley Town. Lake Norian, 3-2 winners over Mansfield. Crawley Town losing to Red's Crew Alexander. Um, let's talk about that Crawley result. Uh, yet again, probably one of the results that was slightly against the odds. Crawley Town being at home, you know, being, I wouldn't say huge favourites, but probably favourites overall. But then losing its crew, Alexander. <sighs> Tell me how you feel, Crawley fans. You know, how you feel about that result. But for this one, I've gone for a 2 0 late Norian win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Scunthorpe. Macclesfield losing 1 0 over Morecambe. And Scunthorpe 3 2 losers over Cambridge. Since I spoke about a Cambridge result, let's go to the Macclesfield result. Losing 1 0 to Morecambe. Yet again, probably weren't quite as bad because Morecambe was away from home, but it did happen any of this. But for this game, I've gone for a 3 0 Macclesfield win. My next one is Mansfield versus Stevenage. Mansfield. Losing 3 2 over Lake Norian. I'll talk about that one in a minute. Um, Stevenage won, losing 1 0 over Bradford. Let's go to that Lake Norian uh, result. Lake Norian, yet again, they did come back up from non lead. Let's not, you know, forget about that. Um, but I think what they're doing at this minute in time is, you know, surprising some teams and you know, to come back up from non league, it's not that easy. So, but for this one, I've gone for a 3 1 Mansfield win. My next one is Morecambe versus Exeter. Exeter 0 0 over Oldham. Mansfield beating Macclesfield 1 0. Spoke about it not so long ago. Um, say, said I spoke about the Holden result. You know, I can't say much more on the Exeter front, so I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Exeter win. My next one is Newport County versus Crew Alexander. Crew Alexander beating Crawley, I've already mentioned. Newport 0-0 over Walsall. I'm going to talk about that Walsall game in literally a minute. Um, so for this one, I've gone for a 2 0 crew Alexander win. My last one for the weekend is Plymouth Argyle versus Walsall. Um, now, let's not be around the bush with this. As I said, I've got to speak about the Walsall result. Um, Plymouth Argyle 2 2 with Selfridge. Got to be happy with that Plymouth fans because it was the last minute. Equaliser. Um, Walsall 0 0 over Newport. Probably was slightly expected, but for this game, I've gone for a 3 0 Plymouth Argyle win. Um, but guys, if you're on the road this weekend, have a safe journey. I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.